In this short video, I will show you the way how Intergraph Smart Electrical can help users to maximize work efficiency in producing a circuit breaker panel schedule. For this demo, I will give an assumption that electrical loads have been already defined and assigned to the feed-in circuit breaker panel. This information can be originated in Smart Electrical as well as it can be originated in other tools like an Excel file or any 2D card layout application or in 3D model and then the data is being used in Smart Electrical to produce panel schedule. There are several ways to load this data into Smart Electrical using either import capabilities, direct retrieve from Integral Smart 3D application or even building custom web API interfaces to load the data from any other third-party application into Smart Electrical. This is all possible and may require a separate discussion for each option, however this is not the focus of my demonstration now. I want to show an advantage of Integral Smart Electrical starting from the point where the data objects of electrical loads and their respective feeding panels are available in Smart Electrical regardless they have been loaded from other applications or originated in Smart Electrical initially. In this example I have a data model of panel CBPL1 that powers various single phase loads like, light, uh, like uh, lighting fixtures, small motors or some other electrical equipment. Based on the number of loads I can estimate and define the size of the panel with the number of circuits or as others call it circuit breaker slots. So I select 42 by now. Then I generate a customized report. Once opened the report will basically perform several things. In sheet 1 it will pull out from Smart Electrical database all the loads associated with the current panel CBPL1 and then will automatically report those loads in the form of industry standard panel scheduler which corresponds to the selected panel size. In my case it is 42. This form is fully customizable of course and other forms can be added to represent any panel size as required for instance 72 or 96 circuit breaker slots etc. Back to sheet 1 the report will display a calculated value of the phase imbalance. If I want to improve the phase balance I click on run optimize balance button allowing the software to automatically rearrange the loads per phases trying to find the the lower imbalance. If the calculated imbalance still is not satisfactory, then I can try to manually move loads between the phases to get a better balance result. Then I click refresh phase usage, which will rearrange loads usage per phases and update panel schedule automatically. I can also move spare circuits with those zeros between phases and then click refresh to update the panel schedule. Now I observe that 42 circuit panel is too big and 24 slot panel size might be enough in my case. So if necessary, I can switch to a smaller panel size and refresh the report. That will automatically switch to the appropriate panel scheduler form with 24 circuits. Please also note that the report has automatically selected the circuit breaker size using the algorithm developed in this report. Eventually I can save changes back to Smart Electrical Database by clicking button Save to Cell DB. So next time when I generate this report it will reflect the last saved load assignments per phases. Looking at load index in sheet 1 it is easy to identify missing tables. User can add the missing table manually in the data model or can let the software to automatically identify missing tables and create them as appropriate. To do so, I select the load items in the engineering data editor, go to actions menu, cables, select insert cable. So here I will assume the 12 AWG cable size will be enough. So I select this one. As a result, Smart Electrical created two new cables in the data model, connected them to the respective loads where the cables were missing and instantly have them added into the project cable repository and bill of materials. To reflect all the changes in the circuit breaker panel scheduler, I just need to regenerate the registered report. If all is satisfactory, I can revise the report and have it, and have it archived for document management. That's it by now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.